this video, we're walking through a custom home that is on one of the most unique lots around Austin, Texas. Now it has incredible views right here from the driveway, and you'll also see that from the outdoor patio, the living room, and so many other areas inside of the home. The specs on this home is it's over 4,100 square feet. It has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. It's sitting on over 0.7 acres, and the builder is Grandview Custom Homes. Now, when I say unique lots, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about as soon as we walk in through the front door. We're met with these very large sliding glass doors on the back wall. You have vaulted ceilings with alder wood beams running through them. You have two very large chandeliers and you just have this wide open space with views everywhere. Now, this home is for sale at $2.275 million. The listing agent is Katie Hunt at Boulder Properties. And my name's Raj Sahu. I'm a realtor in Austin, Texas, and I tour new homes every single week. And I've represented buyers with 19 builders just in the last two years. So I'll give you my perspective on this home based on walking through so many new homes, but I will wanna hear from you by the end of this video. What were your thoughts on this home? what do you think of the design as well as the views? Now we're gonna start right here in the kitchen where they did black countertops, brown cabinets, and I'm seeing this black and brown color palette with many different builders in some of their new model homes. It seems like the beginning of a new trend. Now what's unique about this home is they have the sink off to the side rather than in the island. And as you'll see in front of us, we have a view right from the sink. So imagine doing your dishes here where the dishwasher is right there on the right side and you just look up and there's this view that looks out for miles. Now we will get back out to the living room and dining area where I'll show that more in detail, but staying here in the kitchen, on this side we do have Thermador appliances. I like how they kept the backsplash very simple with this tile, and that's because the focal point of this home, in my opinion, is this designer vent hood that goes all the way up to the ceiling. In fact, when you walk in through the front door, you obviously notice the view right away. You have these beautiful chandeliers in the living room. And then when your eyes go to the left side in the kitchen, I think that cabinet wrap around the kitchen island, as well as that vent hood going all the way up to the ceiling is the, the first thing that you notice when looking at this kitchen. Now, everything is wrapped in this cabinetry. We saw the dishwasher prior to this. This is gonna be the refrigerator that's also wrapped. And then we do have a double oven on the side. Now, before we get to the living room, which we'll see next, I wanted to show you the pantry, which is behind the kitchen. And the stairwell going up to the second floor is also behind the kitchen. And this is fairly unique where a lot of homes have a grand entrance stairway. But I think on this specific lot, instead of taking up space in the foyer with the grand entrance with the stairwell, it wanted to expose as much of the view as possible. And that's why I think they have the stairwell tucked in behind the kitchen. This is going to be a good look at the pantry, which already has some great great built-ins within it. And then by the way, we do have the primary bedroom all the way down that hallway that we'll see later on in the video. And we'll of course get upstairs and I'll show you the views that are upstairs, which are incredible. But the views are also amazing right here in this dining slash living room. Now this home is situated where it has the kitchen, dining and living room all back to back to back. So I'd be standing right around where you'd probably put your dining table and then you notice a floor outlet right there that would be a good spot to probably put your couch or maybe coffee table around that so you can plug in either recliners that have this incredible view on either side of the fireplace you have electrical above the fireplace for a tv and then right off your left shoulder you have these massive sliding glass doors and they open up into a patio which we're going to get to next I did want to give you a closer look at this view, which we'll see when we get out to the patio as well. There are nothing but views in this suburb called Lakeway, Texas, which is just west of Austin, Texas. Now we are in a community that I love featuring on my channel, which is called Rough Hollow. And I'm in this community quite a bit because of, first off, homes like this that open up to these patios that have incredible views. You have these gorgeous hills and nothing but beauty out here. And then even behind this home, you can see it in the distance, those green fields that's got stadium lights. That's Lake Travis Middle School. And then down the street from this home is a newer elementary school. I think it's about two years old. And so even if I just stop there, that alone checks a great deal of boxes that most buyers have. Great homes, beautiful neighborhood, 
and on-site schools. But what Rough Hollow has that I think stands out from most communities is it has these amenities that are just top-notch. So they have the Colorado River all the way beyond that fireplace that we just saw. It's about, about a few miles away from this home. And at that Colorado River, they have a yacht club and a marina. They have complimentary paddle boards and kayaks. Throughout the community, they have 22 miles of hike and bike trails. They have a new fitness center they just put in. They have a water themed community center. And I'm looking at a very long list of more amenities that I can continue to rattle off, but I think you're getting the picture. There's a lot to do just inside the neighborhood. And if you want more details on everything that I just said, reach out to me. I had a client close recently in this neighborhood and I can tour you around the amenities that are here when you're visiting. And what I love about this custom home is they put this outdoor kitchen grill area on the back left of the patio. So you even get a view right from where you're grilling. Now I know we're seeing this home empty, but if you want a good visual of what this would look like, I do have some model homes with other builders that are kind of similar to the layout of this home. So I can show you a better stage version of what this would look like. But I think you can just take my word for it. That patio that we just walked is massive. And to get a view from all sides, it makes that patio feel so special. Okay, getting back into the home, let's cover the rest of the first floor and then we're gonna head upstairs and I can't wait for you to see the views that are up there. What I like about this home is the layout. So we keep talking about views, but I think the livability inside the home makes a lot of sense. And that started right here in the living area, which I wanna give you one last look where you have kitchen, dining, and living room all in one space. And for most buyers, they tell me that they spend the bulk of their time in their home in this main living area. So this main living area had the views that we just saw. It's wide open, great for entertaining. And then the rest of the home has different pockets of privacy while still feeling very open. So this is gonna be the second bedroom downstairs, which is off the front of the home, has these great windows that also have a view. We have cathedral style ceilings that have a beam running down the center. And then we're about to get to an in-suite full bathroom. Now I did say earlier that this home is so functional. It has a high livability factor. And I think that's because it's so marketable to your two primary buyers that are buying homes like this in this current market. Your first buyer, they tell me that they have aging parents and they want their parents staying with them from time to time on the first floor of their home. So they value an in-suite full bathroom like this. They value a walk-in shower where you don't have to hop in and out of a bathtub. And they also value high-end upgrades like this that have this cool dark tile, a light tile on the walls that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And then if you're tall enough in this walk-in shower, you even get a view right from the shower. <laughs> That's an added bonus, I would say. But my point is this solves a problem for a lot of buyers that are looking for these things to be uh, to make their home feel very livable and your second type of buyer is usually retired they don't mind having a two-story plan but they just want most of the square footage on the first floor and i think you'll find that in this home where we still haven't even looked at a three-car garage you know two bedrooms down a study down that big main living area you can spend a lot of time in here and then upstairs it does have some square footage but i think the bulk of this home is on the first floor now what we're going to get to next is also something that i find a lot of buyers need in their home these days and that's going to be a study downstairs now i say downstairs a lot of times when people compromise and they use an upstairs spare bedroom i've found from speaking with so many buyers is that if you have kids that are also upstairs and they're using that game room area as a play area that can be very difficult and also if you have guests over maybe kids don't use those upstairs bedrooms but you have guests staying with you and they're upstairs then you kind of have your study right next to where your guests are staying and that's why grandview custom homes put the study next to the front door where they could get a private area away from the bedrooms that are on this first floor but it still has a view and this completely caught me off guard because i never imagined the study getting a view being that it was right off the driveway but i didn't realize how big of a drop off there was on the front of this property line so imagine this that floor outlet right there it's probably where your desk would be so your uh, computer can just tie into that outlet you'd be sitting right around here and from your computer chair this is your view 
this is incredible now i do want to mention a couple of things you see some new construction over there that's called the point with another builder and i think they are far enough in the distance where i don't think it's going to get in the way of uh, too much of the views that are here especially a lot of the views are off this side and off the back of the home now what i'm seeing on the mls system is it looks like the developer owns the land across the street from this home it is something that you'd have to double check the mls is not always that up to date but once we double check it with the developer and get an idea of what their plans are for that land that should tell you the probability of how protected that land is across the street to still give you that view so my point is don't buy homes based on a youtube video obviously when people reach out to me with interest in these homes i go into so many more details and get to know everything about the home so if you want those details reach out to me would be happy to help moving on we are in the primary bedroom which also has cathedral style ceilings opening up the space so much and then we're right next to the patio so that same view that you saw on the patio that looks out to the back and side of the home that's the same view that you get here and i like that they have a, a little bit of a nook area where these three windows are uh, just because you could probably fit like a chase on this side and so for a lot of my buyers that tell me that they read a lot and they just want a private area to do that sometimes just going into your bedroom having a chase seat you can sit down on next to a window that has a view that's quite the dream builder for a lot of people and then i've had other people say that when they're in their primary bedroom they're just lying down in bed and they either want to wake up to a beautiful view or late at night when they're just watching some tv in bed they just want to look out and see lights uh, behind their home all in the distance kind of showing how much depth is back there and i'm kind of standing right where you'd have your bed and take a look at the view that you have from here incredible okay moving on we're gonna head over to the primary bathroom and don't worry we'll see more views later on in the video in the primary bathroom we have vanities on either side we have a wide open walk-in shower that we'll see in a second and they even fit a freestanding tub now, i like the design upgrades that they chose in here where they have a tile and a countertop that's very light the cabinets warm up this bathroom and then there's a lot of natural light coming in from the windows that are in the uh, walk-in shower and then there's this very large window above the freestanding tub to tie all of this in together you have beams running across the ceiling which continue the theme that's running throughout this home where you saw beams in the living room the second bedroom downstairs even the primary bedroom uh, you have them here and then you have this wide open walk-in shower that hits, has a big shower seat and just has a tile that i think has some movement in it but i think it's just simple enough to keep things very light and bright in here now they ran that tile all the way up to the ceiling and you also have two shower heads in here one is that handheld shower on the right side now, while we go through the rest of this bathroom and primary closet, I do want to go back to the community that we're in, Rough Hollow. And I mentioned that it stands apart because of the amenities that are in the community, but also what makes it stand apart are the homes that are within the community. You can buy in at so many different price points in Rough Hollow. You can buy custom homes like this, where this is listed at just over $2.2 million. I toured a home earlier, a couple weeks ago, that was listed at $4 million. I have another one coming up that's $6 million. There are just so many luxury homes in this neighborhood, and there are even more options when you start adding in some of the production home builders that are also still building. Now, one thing to keep in mind, Rough Hollow has been built out for quite a while, so it is running out of land, and there aren't many more phases that are coming up in future years. So I would say sometime in the near future, Rough Hollow will be closed out for new homes, and then like most communities, it's just gonna be all resales. Moving on, I think we did see this door previously from the patio, but we just didn't exit through it. We exited through the sliding doors in the living room, but that's another exterior door that goes to the patio. And then I like how when you're walking behind the kitchen, my camera can't expose that well because there's so much light coming in through those windows. But I love that you just catch views in different areas of the home that you're just walking through. Now, what I also love are the design upgrades that are in this powder bathroom. So you have this thick countertop for the sink. You have a black tile that runs all the way up to the ceiling. You have a light fixture there that was gold. And then you have these brown cabinets that warm up this powder bathroom. I love the color combination that they have in here. It just continues that theme throughout the home while still making this space feel unique. Now outside the powder bathroom, we do have 
a mud bench, which we'll get to in a second. We also have a utility room where that would be an area for your washer and dryer. They do have a sink, which we're seeing in here. I like how they put in a light fixture and still fit in a window to bring in some natural light. And then they do have another space for a second refrigerator, which is right here. Now, I mentioned earlier that I've represented a lot of buyers with builders, and if you are building from scratch, one of the options that some builders provide is a water line there for an ice maker. To be frank, if you don't really need to make ice in your spare refrigerator, that's already your second refrigerator, so the first refrigerator makes ice, you don't really need to do that. What I would recommend, and I think a lot of construction managers would agree, is you should put a dedicated outlet in there that is made for refrigerators. And so if the uh, outlets trip in your utility room, that one outlet may not trip because it's on its own dedicated circuit. Okay, moving on, we are in the three car side entrance garage. And I thought this was so smart from the custom home builder in terms of the layout of this home, because the views when you're looking at the home from the street are on the right side and back side of the home. On the left side, we're actually going uphill. So that's why on the left side, they put the garage and that's why that driveway has that view. That's why this main living room has this incredible view. And the area that doesn't have the view is where they put a three car garage. And that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's move on and go upstairs. And, and first off, I like how they continued the chandelier theme that they have running through this home uh, right here in the stairwell. They have a lot of natural light coming in from the windows. They even have the stairwell lighting just to the right of all these treads, which I think looks great, especially at night. I actually just had a client close in their home and they did that in their stairwell. Uh, that was a little bit different. Their stairwell was a curved staircase right at their front entrance. But uh, nonetheless, I think it lights up at night and makes it look so aesthetically pleasing. Okay, moving on, we are in one of the bedrooms that's upstairs that looks out to the front of the home. Now, as we'll see here, this one spare bedroom upstairs has an incredible view that looks out for miles and miles and miles. Now across the street, as I mentioned, it looks like the developer could own that land from the naked eye. That looks really tight for that to transition into a uh, home uh, being built there. But again, you definitely wanna double check that before making a buying decision. And you can always call up the developer or their HOA and see what's going on there. Either way, I think you'll have a great view off of the windows in this spare bedroom. You do also have in-suite access to a full bathroom and that same full bathroom you can access from the hallway, which is gonna be right here. Now, what I like about this bathroom is they continue that theme of black tile on the floor. You have white tile going up the walls all the way up to the ceiling. And then you have these similar brown cabinets that we've seen throughout the home. Now, what I like about this second floor the most is gonna be the game room, which we're gonna see next. But also what I like is when you exit every single one of these rooms, you're met with this incredible chandelier with windows all across the top of the stairwell that bring in so much natural light. And that combination is fantastic. Now, I also love the design of these sliding doors that they made it dark, it just breaks up the wall. And these sliding doors, as they open up, go right into the game room slash media room on this second floor. Now these are the same windows that look out to the back of the home. So you have an incredible view right from your second floor and you just have so much natural light coming in here. It lights up this room and makes it such a great place to hang out. That's what I love about this home is that it had a lot of square footage on the first floor, which again, checks a lot of boxes for so many buyers looking at homes these days, but it still has this second floor where you can get a game room with a view like this and still get two bedrooms upstairs. And while we go through this second bedroom upstairs, and then I'm gonna take my drone up in the air and show you around this house, I do wanna address something that I keep getting from buyers as they call me through these YouTube videos on a weekly basis. And the running theme seems to be people asking about the timing of when to buy. And while we go through this spare bedroom that has incredible views, even right from where the bed would be, which I'm gonna show you in a second, I'm gonna answer everyone's question of the timing. The answer is it depends on what you're buying. And I'll give you two examples of this. So I had a client a couple months ago that was looking at forever homes and they were looking at a specific community where the section they were looking in had great high rated schools that were very popular. And I told them that there hasn't been a whole lot of forever home inventory in, under that school district. So if we're going to buy and we really value that community, we got to buy when they open up. 
and we did. And eight other people bought that first week out of 13 lots that opened up. I just got off the phone with the builder agent and they're sold out in that section and they don't have a new section for another nine months. To say the least, my clients are ecstatic. They're so happy they bought when they did. And even though that's a good example of somebody who had to buy right at that time, there are so many other examples of people who should be waiting. Like for people looking at move up neighborhoods, a move up neighborhood is comprised of starter homes where most of those people will eventually sell and move to a forever home those starter homes are not selling right now. So people don't wanna buy at high interest rates. They also don't need to sell because they already have tons of equity in those homes. And those move up neighborhoods will see a lot more supply of inventory in the future when interest rates eventually calm down. Now I told you I wanted to give you another look at that view and that's gonna be right here. And I did wanna just tell you that the answer of timing is all in the details. So reach out to me, my information's in the description of this video, and I'd be happy to talk details about your specific situation and figure out if we're a good fit together. If we're not, and there's a better realtor for you, I'll absolutely connect you. Now, this is gonna be a good look at what's behind the home. That neighborhood in the back is actually another new build community called Sweetwater. And I do wanna correct something. What we're seeing in front of us is actually Lake Travis Middle School. So previously when we were on the patio, we were looking at what's called Bee Creek Sports Complex, which are these beautiful fields in front of us. Now, this is so new that if you go on Google Maps right now and you look at a satellite image, this is just a big dirt patch. So this was just built out recently. Now, as we curl back to the rest of the neighborhood of Rough Hollow, I did want to give credit to the listing agent one more time, Katie Hunt at Boulder Properties. I also wanted to hear from you in the comments. What was your favorite part of the home and what did you think of those views, uh, especially this view of the Colorado River off the right side of this home? Now, if you did want to see another custom home walkthrough in this neighborhood, click on the thumbnail that's appeared on your screen. And as always, hope this helps. Take care, everyone.